Hi, I'm Brandon Flint with Rocky Mountain Water Distillers. Today in this video, we'll show you how to install and set up a Durastil remote faucet system on a 10 gallon tank. This is a uh, SureFlow pump that's a 1.4 gallons per minute. This line's going into an accumulator. The other line's going into a filter. The accumulator keeps the uh, water flowing smoothly has an air gap, air cushion in it. The filter filters the water so it tastes wonderful. This is the bag of fittings that comes with it. Everything you need to hook this pumping system up is in this bag. Open it up, put it out where you can get to it, get all the parts separated. Now you don't need all these parts but you need some of them depending on what you're doing. 50 feet of PEX that goes to your remote faucet. This little line here goes from your pump to your 10 gallon storage tank. Okay, the first thing you do on a 10 gallon tank is take this nut off on the bottom. It takes a 5 8 wrench. Take the cap off and inside this pipe there's a little uh, piece of pipe. You gotta pull it out. It's just a little piece of plastic in here with a little piece of plastic tubing. You take something sharp like a nail or a screwdriver and you pull that out and it, it drops out and the two things come out. That lets the water flow out into your tubing. Now you're ready for your compression fitting on the bottom of your tank. The first thing you do is put your compression nut on then you put your nylon seal on and it taper toward the threads. You put your neural inside the PEX line, push it clear down, slide your seal up. You push it up into the fitting until it stops. And you slide your nut up, your compression nut up, and tighten it until it comes tight and holds the pipe from, from moving. And you'll be able to tell how much to tighten that up. If it starts to leak, tighten it up a little bit more. You don't want to over tighten it. So that's a safe way of doing it. Now, now we'll attach this to the pump. Okay, the next thing you do is you remove this blue cap off your pump. It's where the water goes in. And then you take your PEX line. You put your compression nut on the PEX fitting and slide it up. So the next thing you do is put on your lock ring and with the flares towards the outside and then you put your seal on with the taper towards the outside. And you push it in about that far past the uh, end of the tubing and you tip it up and square it up and put it down into the pump, push the tubing down in and then you tighten the nut up on to the pump. Just like that. And be sure you don't take a wrench and over tighten this because you can break that pump off. You just do it very carefully till you get it snug enough it isn't going to come off. I'm not going to tell you to do it so light that it comes off and, and you have a leak. But there's no pressure on this at all except for what the water is coming out of the tank so it doesn't really take a lot to keep it from leaking. After your pump's hooked up to your tank, you're ready to uh, hook up the rest of the house to the 50 foot long piece of PEX that comes with your machine. And it hooks over here after the filter. The next thing we do is attach this line on the outs where it says out on top of this filter. Now I like to already have this PEX line run to wherever I want my water to go. So pretend you have it run up to your faucet or your refrigerator or your kitchen sink, your bathroom sink, wherever you're going to use distilled water. Uh, we don't use it for everything in the house like washing and that, but in the bathroom we use it for brushing our teeth and rinsing our mouth out. In the kitchen we use it for drinking and ice maker. Uh, you, this is really cool to have a pumping system hooked up to your refrigerator because your ice comes out crystal clear. Well, I'm going to show you how to install this coming out of the, the filter. First thing you do is you 
attach the nylon fitting into there. I'm not going to do it super tight here because we're at the factory at Durastil and I obviously this stuff has to be repackaged so it can be sold. Now the next thing we do, do is just like we did on the front end of the pump after you put the the coupler in there is you put your compression fitting on. You put the lock ring on the tube with the uh, flares to the front and then you slide on the tapered fitting. And you get it on so it's sticking out the end about that far. And then you slide it into the nylon fitting. And just like before on the front end of the pump, you do this nut up until you get it tight enough that it isn't going to leak. And there is pressure on this side, 60 pounds of pressure. When the pump gets 60 pounds of pressure on it, it shuts off. So it's an on-demand pump. You open your faucet, it runs water. When it runs water, it reduces the pressure in the line and it turns the pump on and the pump pumps some more water. When you turn the faucet off, it builds up 60 pounds of pressure and the pump turns off again. There you go. Simple as that to put a pumping system on your Durasteel. Everything comes put together, ready to go, and you can have water pumped anywhere in your house with a remote faucet system.